don't don't be alarmed the sun is shining I know I'm, I'm a bit freaked out at the moment but anyway um, I'm down here and what I'm going to show you today is how to harvest your broad beans now this year why I don't know whether it's because I sowed them earlier or the weather's just been rubbish I don't know but the broad beans seem to have done fantastically well I don't seem to have had black fly on them at all um, so I think it's because I did them earlier um, you'll have to excuse the mess of this plot it's it's a bit terrible I'm, I'm a bit sort of about it at the moment but um, my broad beans are ready so I'm going to show you um, how to harvest those and when to harvest them right now I've just pulled one off I will show you how to do it in a minute but the way to tell that they're done is um, this one's about four or five inches long and if you push it gently you can actually feel the beans and if there's no give then they're ready so take one off and then open it up you just kind of squeeze it and just open it and inside oh look I've, I won't do it all the way down but you can see the beans I hope you can see those they're nice and large okay they're a bit bigger than my thumbnail so it means that they're ready so that it's time for them to to be harvested now you can either just pull these beans straight off the plant or you're going to chuck the plant away anyway so you might as well just oh it's a bean that's escaped you might as well just pull up the plant and then just pull the pods off okay if any are a bit funny like this one don't worry pick them anyway and then when you get home you can have a look and if some of the beans aren't very good then discard them but if the beans inside because I might find that the one down the bottom here is okay um, and uh, so then you can you can decide when you get home so make sure you have a bag because there's lots and lots here um, and then you can then put this in the uh, compost bin or you know recycle it in some way shape or form but I'll shove mine in the in the wheelbarrow for the time being so I'll just carry on and doing that do those um, and what I'm going to plant in this bed afterwards I've got some um, uh, Brussels at home which I still haven't got out so they can go in this bed uh, so it'll be all nice and ready for them so I'll carry on and then I'll show you all of the ones I've got when I finished well I've just picked them all I've got a whole bag full here, a Sainsbury's carry bag full, and, oh, drop one, three, there we are, and a whole tray full of them. So um, I'm well chuffed with them uh, this year. This is the best year I've, I've ever had, and now I've cleared that little space, so it looks a bit neater now. Um, but yeah, what I'll do with these is when I get home, um, I'll sit down, I expect sometime this evening when the kids are in bed with a nice glass of wine uh, and a couple of bowls, and uh, and I'll pop all of these and then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll put them straight in the freezer because they freeze very very well just the beans on their own not the pods um, and then I'll leave them in there and then when we come to have a stew um, when it gets more like winter which it is at the moment um, then I'll just take some out and just stick them in in the, the casserole and um, they'll just sort of bolster it up yeah, they make very good curries as well actually uh, the beans so um, I'm really really pleased uh, the best year I've ever had for broad beans um, so I'm happy even though the Sun doesn't shine all the time anyway I hope you found that useful and I'm off to go and pick some more monster too okay so I will see you soon bye bye <laughs> 